Welcome everyone. My name is Kailoa. Today we're at Scription. We have a viewer challenge run from Game Night 99 to do Gek with Ant Spawner and Killable with the Ouroboros. And I had just recently found a new mod that lets me... It's a actual easy... Maybe I shouldn't have this up here. I don't know how it's... But we can... Let's see... Rem modify our deck on the fly, which is going to make these kinds of runs a lot easier. Oh, I can even just add it right here. Oops. Oh, yeah. That's the thing is the overlay does interact. So, we need unkillable. Oh, it's okay. So, it just puts it on there. Nope. Oh. So, maybe I should... Uh, let's see, does it have an ant spawner? Okay, there we go. That's what the little save icon is just like loading. Awesome. And then there was, we'll just keep the shark just so we have one backup, but we want to add Ouroboros. There we go. Between Gek and Ouroboros. I think we're... Ooh, no, that's what I also wanted to do. I wanted... Ouroboros, I want you. Because it's like, if we're going to go... I'm just testing out how this works, but also... So we can kind of go a little... Great. With it. Uh, not the other axe. We're going to Morsel. And then Gek. You get more soul. That hopefully I think that means that the ants should also have more soul. And then we will just be going completely insane. Alright. Oh, it doesn't. So ants. Hmm. But here we go. No, okay, so. The ants are only going to get unkillable with a totem. That's unfortunate. But that would still gives us the opportunity. I'm not going to spend tons of time leveling up Ouroboros just because we don't need that. But since Ouroboros. Oh no, he. That's why I wanted to get Morsel on the worker ants, so that they're all fusing here. Yeah, sometimes the offspring thing doesn't... Sometimes they get them. Ants don't get them. It's just, what, bunnies and bees? Or do bunnies work? Hmm, maybe we'll have to try it with bunnies. Maybe that will work, but... Let's see. I'm just gonna quick... Yeah. So I think the idea of this run was just to have, like, an army of insects with our Ouroboros just being able to do insane amounts of damage <laughs> against the bosses and whatnot. But now I feel like I need to get that unkillable totem, but I don't have... I was actually hoping for Adder. I don't have the option to just pick the totems, though. Inky, sure. Alright, so now this one, we're gonna do clear this one with ants. It's nice. Yeah, with unkillable zero cost, great way to get one bloods onto the board. I was for a moment there, I was thinking, why are they at five? But that's because they all got the morsel boost from the Gek. But no, the real. Th well, I was really happy just because I found this and showed it up because I've been getting a lot of. And I'm very grateful for all of the card combo runs. And now I should be able to get them right away and be able to use them the whole run rather than having to do those where it's like, oh no, I have to. 
I can only get the card if I'm really lucky by map three. Where we don't have to worry about that anymore. Actually, we need to get Ouroboros up some more. Just in case, for whatever reason, we have to do nine damage immediately, but with unkillable Gek and infinite ants, we really, really don't need to. Bunny totem. Insect bunnies. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the elk, and we are going to add... Mantis God. Why not? I was debating whether or not to do this. You know what? Why not? Let's have Ouroboros go crazy. There. This is going to be either, depending on how much I talk, this is either going to be a very fast or very slow run. Let's see. Oh, right. Because now we don't have Gak. Now we do. An ant that makes bunnies. Nice. Uh, this is also just going to send us into phase two, but we don't need pelts. I think after on map two, I'm going to switch it so instead of making ants, it makes bees and see if that will. We te test to see what si who get, who can pass what sigils on. I mean, from Gek to Offspring. Because actually, I think only beehives can transfer sigils to bees and war into bunnies. But I don't know that for sure. But we're going to test that out. And then here we go. Ouroboros just stampeding them. And of course, I will only use the deck editor for card specific runs and try. Today I'm abusing it, but I will try to not abuse it <laughs> on legit runs. Um, not that this isn't a legit run, but you know what I mean. Like, non practice. Yeah, we need to remove. Oh, I, I added a lot. Oh, okay. Good to know. Oh, there's some new sigils I don't recognize in here. But we will not deal with that right now. I wonder if they're from my other mods. If it can pull those sigils out. What am I looking for? I'm looking for... Looking for... Warren. And Beehive. We'll just add them both. Make him count as a cat and an ant. Actually, I don't think I want. No, Stripey. I can just make him an Ouroboros for every time he dies. <laughs> How about we do that? Now our, our Gex is also an Ouroboros, so that means every time we sacrifice him, he's just going to get stronger still. Alright. Time to. Let's up the Gex. Okay, so the bunny does take on those. Now let's see how these bees do. Okay, so both the bees... So the get can make bees and bunnies that with carry sigils, and they can create the other. Awesome. So, like, what I could do then is I could just play down. I could just attack him with the swarm of bees. Then. Throw it on Ouroboros and make more bunnies and more bees. Well, the bunnies need to get hit to make bees. Actually, that's where the ant comes in handy, though, because then you can sacrifice them for the ant. Hold on. Oh no, the Ouroboros stat didn't, uh, ability didn't hold. Okay, so we can't just make anybody an Ouroboros. Oh, 
Why did I put wolf? Oh, I think instinct took over there. <laughs> Alright, we get an ant. Make some bunny. Oh, that's right. Yeah, hey, so that's the that's the issue with the bees, though. So bees, you have to be struck in order to get the bees. And the bunnies have no offense, unless so bees. Nothing wrong with bees, but I generally don't like bees. Have the bees within because you have to wait till the card gets hit in order for it to activate. So actually, our boss that just didn't work. But we're going to remove that, unless. Hmm. So ant spawner does not. Ant spawner does not transfer sigils, but bees and rabbit do. If misplayed. No, well, we just the ants only get powers from the totem. Now we got an extra hit point. Hmm. So the only way to really make this broken would be is if you had a morsel insect totem. That's kind of... Oh yeah, and the ants just make a normal rabbit. Time to see. Do... Now we're testing whether or not bonfire boosts get transferred to offspring. Alright. There. There. There we go. We can now beset him with our army of ants. Okay, that's actually a bit of a bummer right there, but... Oh. By bummer, I meant like you had to wait for him to to break a stone before we could play. And then we just let Ouroboros just <laughs> just trounce him. Oh, I forgot to check. I don't think the ants and the bunnies got benefit from the, the bonfire. Yuck. Our bunny. <laughs> there we go. It's just like once you get to five damage, this is like, all right, we're, we got it. We're good. But actually now our deck is too full. Snilk, the snake elk. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay, now I have a pelt I don't need. Super strong Ouroboros. We're bringing in all the teeth we possibly can. Now, now we actually have to wait till phase or turn two. That doesn't sound right. That means we have too many cards. We'll have to do something about that. Actually, now that I remember just mentioning it, pronghorn, gun, wolf, gun, gun. Uh, 
clear merge data or remove. Oh, so I can clear off his transferred sigil. Nice. Yep, yeah, move him. Amalgam, you may stay. Now I can get the lizard to make bunnies. I'm just making bunnies left and right. But the, the symbols shouldn't stack, so it's not like I could get a bunny that makes a bunny. I don't think so. Three blood. Wolf. You know what? We can do this then. Then we can have three ants and Ouroboros onto the board. Oh, right. So, Gek. Bunny. For another ant. Gek for another ant. Now we play Ouroboros. There we go. Now we get to do both. Just swarm him with ants and great white sharks. Oh no. But actually... No, well, we're not going to lose, so let's just have to see how this goes. All right. And everyone survived. All right. Wow, it's almost like great white sharks are terrible defenders. Well, duh, because they're waterborne. I'm going to save you for another time. Nope, still just makes a single B. So we have unkillable bunnies, so here we are. Unfortunately, bunnies can get devoured by the moon, so can't uh, rely on bunnies to save the day. Because I'm presuming it works with uh, greater bunnies as well, that they would also be... Oh, that's right, I switched that. Oh. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's right, he makes a rabbit. Oh, whoops. I forgot, that's not one of my ant-making rabbits. After all this time, lest you would just give up on the whole moon thing, but here we are. Hey, and the rabbit survived. All right. And there we go. Challenge run completed. Gek with, um, Ant spawner and unkillable with a backed up by an Ouroboros that we could just abuse that whole system all we want. We could make that Ouroboros as strong as we possibly wanted to. Um, but yeah, that just kind of confirmed that ants don't. I don't know if Ant Queen is different, but from a Gek, Gek can't pass sigils on to an ant, but it can pass on to bees and rabbits. I, I wonder if that's des a design to, because the, well, no, bees are 1-1s. One because rabbits would make sense. They're 0 ones. They can't be used for offensive purposes. But, so that's good to know that ants with their strength, great, but they will be sigilless when used. So thank you so much, everyone. 
uh, for joining me. Leave a comment below if there's any particular runs you would like to see, especially now with this uh, deck editor. I can certainly do those card sigil combos and get those up and running right away and show you how how those work in battles. Like and subscribe to see more, and I will catch you later in the next episode.